Now, it's time for Community Appeal. Hoops Elite Academy is dedicated to building true student athletes by assisting young basketball players in the classroom just as much as on the court. Here to tell us more is founder and local high school hoop star Chris Coblin and Joshua Gresham. So great to have you here, gentlemen. Mm, thanks for having us. Yeah, so how you. did the Hoops Elite Academy come to be? Well, uh, we both work at uh, Smith Leadership Academy, which is a uh, charter school um, in the um, Boston area. Mm -hmm. And um, part of our job is to make sure that uh, we place our students um, to either other charter schools, independent schools, uh, and uh, what we have found is that a lot of our students have the grades, but not necessarily the test scores. Um, mm -hmm. So it's important that we make sure that our students have access and options um, and don't allow the test scores to limit them. So um, we also have a huge population of students who love basketball. So it seemed like a natural mix of, of athletics, basketball in particular, and then the academic side. I think that's so important. Yeah. And I think it's so great that you bring light to this because so many students do focus on their sport and maybe lose track of their academics or vice versa. Absolutely. So it's good to be well-rounded yes. and, yes. and promote the importance of education as well as absolutely st sticking with your passion. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So how did your first summer go? Uh, it was a tremendous success. Uh, we had uh, we had some of the top um, talented uh, young basketball players in the region, not not just Massachusetts, but New mm -hmm. England as a whole. Uh, and they had a great time. Uh, it was it was a lot of work, but it was also a lot of fun. And I think that we, we had some tired student athletes go home, but I, I, you know they had a great time. So it was it was definitely a success. It's good that they're tired. Yes. It's a good thing. Yes. Yes. And Joshua, why are academics so important to your mission? I think in our mission we talk about building student athletes and you are a student before you're an athlete and in order to be a student athlete you have to be eligible. Um, so for a lot of our kids it's important that they work in the classroom uh, like Coach Coblin said they get the test scores um, and that they're just able to use basketball as a vehicle to explore the world. Mm -hmm. For some of them they might be able to go to colleges that they might not have been able to go, they might be able to maybe play overseas, you never know, explore the world. Through basketball they might be able to uh, play in AAU tournaments across the country. So just using basketball as a vehicle. Yeah, and to have good role models too yeah. is so important to, to look up to. And I think if every sport had camps that also encouraged academics as well as the athletics, it would absolutely. really yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Make, make sure that kids know the importance of it. Yeah. So what ages is this camp best for or that you uh, encourage? Rising 6th, um, 7th, 8th, and ninth graders. Okay. Um, so anybody who's, who's going into the 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade, mm -hmm. uh, that's the ideal. Um, age that's the that's the age that we work with um, in schools so uh, it, it seems fit that that's the age that we work with um, coaching and, and developing the basketball players as well right yeah. so just about that age of ninth grade when they, they've had all this camp to prepare for high school exactly. and then they have the right focus right. Exactly. and they know what they have to, to exactly. keep in mind yes I have to ask you about the steak eating contest what is this all about steak eating contest what our, our director of basketball operations he's not is not here today uh, but he, um, he's, he's, he's my brother. He's my younger brother, but he's also 6'8", so he's, he's, he's a large <laughs> man. And we had, we had some, some also large kids at our camp, so we, it was another 6'8 kid. And they decided that at the last day of camp, they were going to have themselves a steak eating contest. Uh, my, my brother, Ben, he, he won. Uh, four <laughs> plates to three plates, but uh, it was definitely uh, you know a lighthearted aspect of the camp. Uh, these these student athletes are with each other for the full week nonstop, yeah. and so you know brotherly camaraderie takes place, and also uh, they the grow attached to our to our coaches. So it was just something that that uh, it's 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 amongst it's amongst the tall guys, you know. The I, tall so I guys, know. exactly. <laughs> well, then I have to say I I'm not surprised that he won. Being yeah, six no. Six a grown man, right? Yes, but yeah, still, yeah, I'm sure yeah. they had a, a lot of fun doing Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And why do you encourage young athletes to come? Do I mean do you need to do you only encourage experienced young athletes or anyone who's interested in basketball? I'm um, really anyone who's interested in, in um, taking basketball seriously and, and has a goal in mind to to use basketball as a vehicle to uh, gain the best education possible. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we did have an uh, enormous amount of, of really talented young up and coming players, uh, especially in the class of 2015. So. Um, it, it was, but it was a great mix. So we, we really had, you know, a ton of uh, talented players, but we also had a mix of some younger guys who are developing into their own. So it was, it was definitely a good mix. It gives you a lot of hope too, as a you know, an adult seeing these kids who have so much talent mm -hmm. and, and focus. Absolutely. And what do you expect, Joshua, for years to come with uh, this camp? Just to grow. I think we, we started off on such a good foot. 
Uh, I know a lot of the kids who are going to into the eighth grade talked about wanting to come back, yeah. get expanding in Massachusetts and New England. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a couple of kids from Rhode Island, so to have more kids from just around New England, just expansion. It's great. Well, yeah. I think it's so important, you know, what you're instilling in these kids, really. And um, it's great that, that we have this academy. So thank you very no, much. And people having, can having follow you on Twitter. Absolutely. And they can also find you on Facebook to stay up to date with Hoops Elite Academy. Thank you so no, much. Thank you. And for more information on Hoops Elite Academy, log on to MyMassAppeal.com and click on Leisure Appeal.